Although in many ways, despite the obviously trying nature of everything that's been happening over the last year, we have managed to make a lot of progress. We had lovely sessions in the building this year. We've been in bubbles, but that bubbled nature has meant that we've not actually been able to do anything with the whole brass department in one place. So we thought it would be a really nice idea to have at least one moment of the year where we're all together, even if it is virtually. Um, so I've commissioned the brilliant Ryan Linham, who wrote The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers this time last year, has written us a superb piece called the staycation celebration and it features almost every single one of our students and about 13 or 14 of our brilliant visiting tutors and our international chair i hope you really enjoy it Welcome to our graduating students, staff, family and friends who've been able to join us online. Graduation is always a special time and many of you will have been dreaming about the moment you could cross the stage in cap and gown to collect your certificate for a long time now. For others of you, it may have been a more recent dream. But we will make sure that you have that moment. And I do hope very much that you'll be able to join us in January next year when we plan to welcome you and your guests to an in-person ceremony at Birmingham Symphony Hall, marking your achievements in the traditional way. But in the meantime, we did not want to let the completion of your studies, the moment of your achievement, pass by without celebration or fanfare. And so I'm really glad you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you might be. Because one of the things, of course, that we've learned over the past challenging 15 months is that virtual events give us a unique opportunity to bring people together wherever they're physically located. I'm here 
in Curzon Building at our city centre campus. But whether you're watching in your home in Birmingham or as far away as China, India, Nigeria, or one of the over a hundred different countries that our student body is drawn from, welcome to this virtual degree celebration. What's absolutely clear is that no matter what the past year or so has looked like, you've continued to work hard, show resilience and determination, and that's why you're now a graduate. So this is a special event, the culmination of years of hard work. It's a time to celebrate your achievements and those who've supported you on your journey. No one will ever be able to take this away from you. You're the class of 2021 BCU graduates, and we're immensely proud of you, and we look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. BCU is proud to be the university for our great city of Birmingham. It's right that we are deeply engaged with many of the developments taking place across the city. It's such an exciting place to be. We've got the Commonwealth Games on the horizon in 2022. We'll be moving into the Alexander Stadium following the Games as a new home for our portfolio of sport courses. The BBC has committed to moving their operations into the city and next to our city centre in Digbeth, there's of course an increasing number of media and technology companies opening up, taking advantage of the unique creative industry skills in our city coming out of our university. And with our partners in the Institute of Technology, we're ensuring that the young people in our city and region have strong practical roots into engineering and into digital technologies. The world's changing faster than any of us will have ever seen before. This was true even before the pandemic, but that's only accelerated the magnitude of change. And because of that, the world feels uncertain right now. But the pandemic has reaffirmed why the creation of knowledge and the development of skills are so important. We've all seen the development of vaccines at an unprecedented speed, the discovery of different ways of working, different practices in our frontline services to care for the sick. And we've all had to learn to work very differently. And it's why graduates like you will continue to be in demand from employers they want the skills you developed, the knowledge you've acquired. They want your ideas. They want your enthusiasm. They want your ability to deal with a changing world, responding to its challenges and seeing them as opportunities. Even before the pandemic, I would have told you that the nature of work was changing. Few people are going to have a job for life, and that's probably even truer now. But it also means that you will continue to learn to develop new skills and acquire new knowledge as you go. This is something our graduates are well placed to do because at BCU you benefited from applied learning. You've had plenty of opportunity to apply your learning throughout the course that you've been on. And because of that education, you will be able to adapt and respond to that changing world. You'll be able to give back to society and to make a difference. Who knows what the people in this event right now will go on to do that changes our world for the better. When I wrote to invite you to this celebration, I told you that education has a special power to transform lives. And education's already had an impact on your lives, and it will go on to make a difference to the lives of others. The work you do will transform other people's lives. And we see examples of this almost every week. Just over a year ago, I witnessed our healthcare students face the greatest challenge the NHS has ever confronted. And at the height of the pandemic, they took on frontline roles before graduation to ensure that the city's health service could face the demands placed upon it. It's been a marathon effort to protect us and those we love. And we're deeply proud of all of our students. And whatever you go on to do, we hope so much that you will stay in touch with us so we can continue to take pride in your achievements. Because BCU is a community, and you, our students, have told us that being part of BCU means something. It means pride and confidence and belonging. And you're now one of our alumni body, part of BCU for life. 
So as you take your next steps, remember you're not alone. You have the staff who supported you, some of whom you will hear from shortly. You have your family, and of course, you've got the friends you made at BCU. We take real pride in you, and we're confident in what you've achieved and what you're going to go on to achieve. And we would like to celebrate your special achievement. I hope you enjoy this celebration. It's all for you. Hello and welcome to your very special virtual graduation celebration. As Chancellor of Birmingham City University, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look a little bit different to what you were imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Back then, Netflix and chill meant a hot date. Now it's official government health advice. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It does not change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, given everything you've had to contend with over the past year, it's completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. We are. I would give you a standing ovation, but like everybody working from home, I haven't worn trousers since last Easter. But whether you're in your bedroom, your grandmother's kitchen, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you to give yourself a great big cheer and raise the roof. You've done it. You completed your degree. So don't be shy, let your neighbors know about it. It's payback time for all those Amazon parcels they nicked off your front doorstep. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Let's shout from the rooftops. You are a graduate after all. Ready? On three, BCU posse in full effect. One, two, three. Each and every one of you celebrating today has shown dedication and personal commitment to be here. You stand at the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the bottom rung of a ladder, which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You could even be prime minister one day, prime minister. Apparently the only qualifications are floppy hair and not knowing how many kids you've got. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2021. The most chaotic, turbulent, shocking year since way back in 2020. No one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you've shown that you've got resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, the ability to stealthily go on Tinder during a Zoom lecture, isn't it? And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. It seemed too hard, too overwhelming, too exhausting. And I was just doing those Joe Wicks YouTube workouts. But you did it and you're here, celebrating as all of your hard work has paid off. No one will ever take these things from you. Not the achievement and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate. Because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who all support one another and cheer each other on. The BCU community is very special indeed. I, Lenny Henry, am proud to be a part of the community and have spent a very happy and fulfilling five years as Chancellor here. Things were very different back then. Boris was still a figure of fun, Rather than a beleaguered PM, since he got the job, he spent so little time in bed, his hair started to look normal. And then last year, they gave me another title, Visiting Professor. This is a title which I'm equally proud to hold, because it is linked to the work of the Seleni Henry Centre for Media Diversity. We launched the centre right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued. We are conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. This will ultimately help to support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. And we're starting to see that diversity at last. Is anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix? A Regency story about a rich white girl falling in love with a cool black guy. It's basically Downton Abbey meets the Kardashians. Now, um, <clears throat> I became Chancellor of BCU 
because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Just before the pandemic, I officially opened a centre in King Stanley that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. The centre is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the centre showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and had been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13-year-old juggler you'll ever see, who's determined to make it big in entertainment. I don't doubt that he will. After all, I've still got his business card. Schemes like this are vital because they help young people to overcome barriers which are put in their way, help them to achieve their potential and start to level the playing field for youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds. They address the vicious circle which these young people find themselves in, showing them that higher education could be for them and developing skills to help them get there. Birmingham is a place full of opportunity, but we need to keep working to ensure that young people from all backgrounds have access to these opportunities, regardless of which postcode they were born in or which school they went to. Mmm, Jamaican tea with a bit of rum in it. Now, being part of BCU means grabbing every opportunity that comes your way. But make sure you ask first. You're not the last US president or the next US president. You'll have had endless opportunities whilst you've been with us. Expert guidance and teaching from your tutors and lecturers, the input of industry experts, the addition of career-related skills into every course, and the chance to get to grips with how to apply your learning in the real world. Plus, you haven't had to waste time getting dressed for lectures. Now, take all of the skills you've developed and use them to help you flourish. Get out there and make the world a better place. Let's face it, right now the bar is so low, it might as well be a Weatherspoons for little people. Don't forget the wealth of resources we have here to help you as you step out into the labour market. Whether that's careers advice as you start your job hunt or support for those with a more entrepreneurial mindset. You have access to these resources as a member of the BCU community, so use them wisely. This community is made up of people from all walks of life, each with their own story to tell. This is the latest chapter in your story and you will now go on to write the next one as you embrace the opportunities which come your way. And no matter what obstacles you encounter on the road or head, no matter how difficult and scary it might seem, just remember, it cannot be as bad as being stuck in the house with your family. Congratulations, enjoy your day, and look forward to seeing you in real life very, very soon. My name is Seleni Henry. I'm so sorry for the banging about upstairs. I love you, be cool, be happy. Put your, put your cardboard hat on. I'm going to put this on. Give one more cheer. Hooray! Hello, I'm Professor Keith Horton. I'm Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean, Faculty, Business, Law and Social Sciences. Hope you're keeping well, hope your family keeping well. And many congratulations from Business, Law, Social Sciences. I mean, one of the great pleasures of higher education is graduations and being with you and your families and just celebrating all your hard work and your success. It doesn't seem all that long since you actually started your course, really. I mean, who knows? You know, we weren't expecting COVID, were we? But here we are now living with it, and here we are with graduation. I think you should be enormously proud of what you've achieved, though, not just on the course, but just particularly over the last year and a half and what you've achieved. We've had great success across all our students in all three schools within the faculty. And I think one of the great things that I'm proud of is the way our courses are really connected with industry, professionally accredited as well. We've put a lot of focus on practice-based learning. And I think that will stand you in really good stead. You should remember you've got really relevant knowledge and great transferable skills that you're now taking out with you into the job market. You've got a lot to be proud of from your time here at Birmingham City University. And we're enormously proud of you and your achievements. But the hard work doesn't start now. stop now. I mean, you've worked really, really hard, but actually in a world of continuing innovation, which we can see across all three schools, whether it's the business school, law school, or school of social sciences, you need to keep working. You need to keep learning. 
And you need to stay connected with us as well, please. I mean, we've got the careers service here, which you can access for another three years after graduating. So I'd really encourage you to make use of those services as you go out there into the world and look to fulfil your ambitions. So congratulations, well done. Very best of luck in the future. Do remember to thank your family and friends for all their support during their time, during your studies as well. Um, and do keep in touch with us. Congratulations. Sorry I'm not with you and your families in Symphony Hall, uh, but nonetheless, enjoy the graduation. Take a moment to celebrate and give yourself a good pat on the back. Very well done. Hello. My name is Professor Luke Mason. I have the honour of being the head of the School of Law here at Birmingham City University. I'm here to congratulate you all on this phenomenal achievement for you, your friends and your family. What a wonderful thing to graduate from your law degree here at BCU. This is a momentous day. I'm obviously incredibly disappointed that we can't spend this time together physically. But this is just as meaningful and in many ways very apt after the year or so that we've had to celebrate this together in a virtual manner. And I'm really pleased we're able to do that here today. So, first of all, as I said, congratulations. Make sure you take the time to celebrate with your friends and family, wherever you are in the world. You might be here locally in Birmingham, you might be somewhere else, somewhere else in the UK, somewhere else in the world, celebrating this. And of course, we're all going together today to celebrate virtually. This is, of course, a wonderful achievement at any time, but particularly in these strange times, this is a particularly impressive achievement to graduate from your law degree. It's, of course, a personal achievement, personal to you, and important, of course, to your friends and family, as I said before. But legal knowledge and professional practice are a community-based thing. Legal knowledge, legal achievement, professional legal practice, they all require a shared space, interpersonal interaction, communication, sharing of ideas, the creativity and rigour and exchange that all of those things need. And this usually requires us to share a physical space to, which allows that interaction with each other. And of course, through that interaction, we achieve our personal milestones such as graduation. The shared space of the law school, such as our law school at BCU, is a microcosm of that shared space. And in ordinary times, we come together within that space, within our community, to share ideas, to solve problems, to learn new skills, and to obtain our law degrees, to then use them in the world. Of course, in these very challenging times, that hasn't been possible. But nonetheless, here you are, graduating from a law degree, what that means is that we've had to reinvent, you've had to reinvent, those systems of community, of communication, of interaction, of exchange, which usually would take place exclusively almost within the confines of the law school, in the library, in your conversations in person with your tutors, with your classmates, with your friends. All of those things, almost all of them, for a large part of your law degree, have moved online. We've moved to talking about things such as blended learning, virtual learning, virtual classrooms. And you've achieved all of the wonderful things that you would usually achieve within that legal community in this new world. So congratulations to you for doing that, because that shows that you haven't only achieved all of those long-standing legal skills, which have been the basis of such a respected form of academic and professional qualification for so long, but you've done so in a new way. You have reinvented what it is to succeed on an academic legal programme. And all of the credit for that lies with you. So I know when you go out now into the world, you move on to your next step, whether that's with us here at BCU or somewhere else in the world, that you'll not only take that phenomenal legal knowledge and those phenomenal legal skills, and that desire to change the world that all graduating law classes have. But you'll also have all of these new skills, which mean you can do that in a whole new way. You're the only generation, the only group of law graduates who will have that. This is the most impressive graduating class ever 
I think. You've reinvented for all of us what it is to be a valuable member of that legal community, community of practice, community of knowledge. So well done. And as I said, you can now take those skills into the world and go on to great heights at the next stage of your journey, solving the world's problems, solving the problems of the future. And it's felt, of course, in this virtual world, the virtual university, the virtual graduation, that we're somehow almost already living in the future, the university in this form. And the reason for that is because you are the problem solvers, the world changes of the future, and you've made this future that we've got in our present possible. So well done to you all again. And of course, as well as that phenomenal virtual learning community, which you've all built as part of your law degree with, his, with us here at BCU, you're also now joining, upon graduation, the enormous and incredibly successful and inspirational BCU Law School alumni community, which is across the world. And you will remain part of that BCU community forever. You're not leaving BCU. Your role at BCU simply changes. You are now taking the unique values and philosophy of BCU Law School into the world. And you remain part of BCU while you're doing that. You will always be part of BCU. So please keep in touch. Tell us what you're doing as part of that BCU law school community. We are so proud of you and your great achievement. Well done. Everyone, Suresh here. I just wanted to say a big congratulations to everybody that's completing their studies, that's graduating today. What you have done is amazing. It's a wonderful achievement to complete your studies in ordinary circumstances. So to complete them during difficult circumstances is even more uh, amazing. So well done on that. I also wanted to congratulate not just yourselves, but also your family and your friends that have supported you through this journey. So take a moment to thank them and to celebrate with them too because this is a victory for everybody so well done i know you will go on to have wonderful careers i know you will go on to change the world and have a positive impact on the world um, if you ever need any help or if you ever need anything from bcu you know where we are we're always willing to help uh, well done and congratulations again hi everybody this is uh, lamin here I'm just recording this video to uh, wish you all well and uh, to say congrats for completing your LLB law degree with us and I hope that uh, we'll be able to see you again in the near future to do your LLM and also your LPC with us. Best of luck. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Michael Davis. I'm the Associate Course Director on the Legal Practice team. I'd like to congratulate all of you successful students. We all know that it's been a difficult year this year and your good results are undoubtedly down to your hard work and dedication. So once more, congratulations on your success. And on behalf of myself and the Legal Practice team, we wish you all the best for the future. A huge congratulations to our LLM International Human Rights and LLM International Law students who are graduating today from me and Dr Amna Nazir. We are so proud of you. You have done fantastically well to get this far and you've worked so hard and you now officially have your master's degree. But really the fun just starts here as you move on to whatever comes next for you and we wish you all the very best for it and please do keep in touch. Congratulations again and we look forward to seeing you at a graduation in person very soon. Hi everyone, um, I'm Ewan Kirk, I'm the LLB course director um, and I just want to say um, a big congratulations um, to all students in the law school who are graduating today. Um, you should be rightfully proud of your achievements um, and um, you know, well done, congratulations. Um, you should reflect upon the, the skills and the attributes and everything that, that, ha that has developed you as a person over the course of your studies in your degree and think about 
how you're going to um, apply the, the skills that you have acquired um, as you have progressed and through your learning journey with us. Remember that we're still here and you can still have conversations with us about that. Um, for example, the career service is still open um, to you if you wish to um, continue having conversations about what your future career plans are. Um, and think about how you're going to apply those skills that you've acquired um, in your future career, whether that be um, a career in the legal profession um, or a career elsewhere. Um, and remember that we're, we're here to talk to you about that. Um, but for today, um, today is about celebration. So celebrate with your friends and your family um, and you know, uh, think about the, um, the achievement that you have um, uh, achieved over the course of your studies. Well done. Mercedes Amelia Cooling Alice Ole Nodiovo Zoe Evans Marin Kaiser Aliyah Abid Callum Pocknell Emma Potter Marin Kaiser Priya Rani Douglas Henderson Daisy Mason Chal MacDade Amy Phipps Amy Louise Rigby Davina Stora Naomi Aisha Wellington Kieran Corgill Olga Kshishton Alexander Ray Magali Makarena Gaigio Serda Pasa Ahmed Sana Ahmed Zakria Ahmed Anisa Akhtar Abdullah Ol Toleb It was an amazing three-year journey. I'd like to uh, thank all my tutors and all my professors and congratulations to all the graduates. Mayreen Ali Zara Ali Anika Begum Chloe Rebecca Benson Georgia Ellen Cartwright Georgia Ioana Christina Sergazan Brittany Shanice Chen Thomas Cox Katie Davis Bronte Farnell Thompson Chloe Imola Louise Fisher
Lily Fisher. Joshua Folds. Taylor Grinter. Esme Hales. Sophie Hickman. Mohammed Iftikhar. Mohammed Tala Iklak. Jessica James. Fatima Nyanda Kamara. Abazali Khan. Harry King. Harvina Mann. Ibrahim Mansour. Gunnarswal Matcha. Candice Ramada McGillhall. Vinuri Sahania Moderage. Olivia Moyle. Mariam Dantoro Mohammed. Alexander Nutt. Anjali Patel. Dania Kamar. Abdul Elahi Rafiq. Simran Sadhira. Mohammed Kiza Saeed. Kainat Shaheen. Shagayeg Shakibikisha. Asiya Shazad. Helena Sond. Tino Tender Victoria Timaya. Lauren Michelle Tyrell. Darmini Valji. Zaysha Fia Kiana Whitaker. Stephanie Alia Wilson. Syra Zairab. Musa Zaman. Anthony Aomide Olufiko Ajibola Jiroji. Nurel Huda Belhassan. Halima Hilmond. Hafisa Hussein. Nikita Roma Kapoor. Priyanka Shamar. Jermai MRK Agbola. Olivia Balnave. Prisha Bordwaj. Pamela Karina Bricker. Daily Cond. Zoe Dudley. Abigail Freeman.
Ashley Guata. Are you Hunt Reed? Mahisha Kolbami. Omrit Paul Samra. Paul Trayan. Judith Oluchi Uhuo. Denzel Horatio Atkinson Annie Shanan Yasmin Marion Smith Shakira Ghana Gwyneth Josh Nicolette Ravesh